the Fraser River, with a length of 1,375 kilometers, is the biggest river within British Columbia. Coming from the mighty Rocky Mountains and flowing into the Strait of Georgia in the city of Vancouver, the Fraser is the largest river by discharge flowing into the Pacific Sea bounds of Canada with an average flow of 3,475 cubic meters per second. Unfortunately, this river not only releases water and wildlife into the ocean. The illegal dumping and littering of the shores of the Fraser River is an old and ongoing problem. Plastics of all kinds, toxic chemicals, coal dust and heavy metals are dumped every day into these waterways. A lot of garbage ends up on the riverbanks every season and this directly affects the local wildlife, particularly the salmon habitat. But there are some local heroes who work endlessly to keep this precious water clean and free of pollution. Ross Aikenhead is one of the most persistent individuals who has been dedicating his time to make a difference around these shores. Armed with a bunch of buckets and magnetic sweepers, he shows up on his truck early in the morning, summoning considerable amounts of volunteers willing to give a hand and help with the already famous cleanups. Social media has played an important role in the organized cleanup events. Working as a platform that allows people to discuss the illegal dumping problem and help the local population to successfully organize several cleaning sessions. It's been about yeah four and a half years since I started organizing things like this on my own, and a lot of help from the city. So they're very uh, cooperative. So we, we get this uh, free access permit for the Bailey Sanitary Landfill. The city arranges, uh, Ross is, arranges there with them and they give us this pass so we don't have to pay for any of the dumping charges. So we appreciate that every time. But Ross is not alone. Volunteers like Kevin Raffle have been doing this for a long time as well. Fraser Valley Illegal Dumping Alliance was born about five years ago uh, from a group of citizens uh, that came together representing different organizations such as the Fraser Valley Salmon Society, Chilliwack Federal River Cleanup Society, uh, Fraser Valley Regional District, it's the city of Chilliwack, and again a bunch of businesses that uh, came together uh, and we started having roundtable discussions about how we can combat the ongoing problem of illegal dumping that happens around uh, the Chilliwack uh, Fraser Corridor. And uh, that, that grew and eventually the, uh, the support uh, grew as well and basically the Fraser Valley Illegal, Illegal Dumping Alliance was formed. So over the past 13 years, uh, just from our, our cleanup alone here on the Fraser River, we've collected over 150 tons of garbage. And uh, back in 2019 was the last cleanup that we success successfully held uh, before COVID. We attracted 800 volunteers uh, to Gill Road and we ended up uh, cleaning up about 10, 10 kilometers of Fraser River shoreline uh, within that corridor of Chilliwack. So over the years, uh, collectively, um, the volunteers, the numbers have been in the thousands, uh, which is, you know, speaks to the volumes of of how much people care, not just in the Fraser Valley, but also here in Chilliwack. Uh, and a lot of people get to learn about the gem they have right outside their back door. My name is Nikki Reckman, and I'm the president of the Chilliwack Vetter River Cleanup Society. Our main purpose is to um, really look after the riparian area along the Chilliwack Vetter River corridor and deal with illegal dumping or just littering in general. We have a large amount of volunteers and we host two river cleanups a year. So I'm the program manager for Fraser Riverkeeper and we're a Vancouver based charity um, and we're part of the national charity Swim Drink Fish and I'm so excited that this is my first of the cleanups. 
Um, I've always been really passionate about water conservation and that's what we're really focused on at Swim, Drink, Fish and Fraser River Keeper. Um, and it's, it's fantastic to see the community that comes out here even, you know, in a very small group. Yeah, I started the Chilliwack Better River Cleanup Society in 2002. Terry Bodman is with us, one of the original directors as well. And we got the Adopt a River, Adopt a River program going and, uh, and it's been going, as I say, since 2002. I don't know hundreds and hundreds of tons of garbage that we've taken off there. Yeah. And uh, of course we have BC Rivers Day when we don't have this COVID and there's uh, lots of enormous number of people that really come there and we've made a difference. Uh, my name is Eric Tycote. I'm with the Conservation Officer Service out of uh, Mission in the Fraser Self Zone. Um, and I'm here assisting with the cleanup for the uh, Gill Road with the Fraser Valley Illegal Dumping Alliance um, and some of the other state uh, shareholders down here in Chilliwack. We work with the Fraser Valley Illegal Dumping Alliance. They're the ones that notified us that this cleanup was going on. They've been cleaning up this area for a very long time. Um, it's a very high use area here in Gill Road and uh, it gets a lot of use. Um, unfortunately, with that comes littering and burning things people shouldn't be burning and uh, kind of misuse of the area. So uh, a lot of people in Chilliwack feel very strongly about protecting this area um, because it's a great place to come with your family to camp. And we want to make sure that it remains safe and clean for people to continue to use this area. This was the remains of a pallet fire here. So look, look at all the nails. They collect, they take, um, they take big magnets and they collect hundreds of pounds of just nails from all these pallets that are burned in the Fraser River. Hi Eric. Hi Eric. He's one of my brothers. How you doing? Good. Good. What do you have here? You can just get that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll throw that in the back of my truck here. Yeah. And for us as Wilmot people, uh, this is our river of life. And and uh, we consider the salmon as our relatives. And they use this home, you know, to uh, swim up uh, and down the river as they, they go up and spawn and come back down the river and uh, go out to the big ocean and uh, grow and come back again in the cycles. It's, it's incumbent upon us uh, as uh, caretakers of our, of our territory to uh, participate in, in, in events like this to, uh, to uh, protect our sacred waters and, and, and our salmon upon which we have depended for thousands and thousands of years. If you come to an area anywhere in the wilderness, any garbage you bring with you, you've got to bring out. You got to make sure you can't you can't just leave that stuff on the ground. You can't litter. Um, and then the other thing too is a big issue we have down here. When people come to have fires, it's all well and good to have fires in wilderness areas, but you can't be burning pallets and leaving the nails because leaving the nails behind is the same as littering. And a lot of people get punctured tires. You know, people can step on them and hurt themselves. So you know, it's 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 all well and good to enjoy the wilderness, but it's got to be done safely and it's got to be done respectfully. Not bad, 15 people, and it's still probably get this half full. And something that Fraser Riverkeeper and Fvida and Woodtone all like to do is to acknowledge an individual who's put forth a lot of extra work protecting and conserving our fantastic and precious waters. So for this year, we would like to honor Ross. So I'd like to pass it over to Kevin to say a few words, but thank you so much for all the amazing work that you do, Ross. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what the ultimate solution would be. I would like to have enforcement so that, you know, if people start getting fined for doing the things they're not allowed to do, that'll get the word out, but there isn't the manpower to, to enforce it, so the end result, I don't know. Despite the noble efforts of these heroes, the battle is far from over. The never-ending task will continue demanding people's awareness and compassion to successfully preserve the balance of the Fraser River and subsequently all the life around and within it. The future of these waters is uncertain and certainly compromised. Whether we acknowledge it or not, it is in our hands to preserve a lifetime legacy. <laughs>